Hello, my name is Jan Tielemann and today, whoa, what happened here? Today I want to talk about um, the Read Data web service, which is this one. Um, if you want to um, get more information about the web service, I recommend you this wiki page from the Adempierre wiki. It's uh, still valid for Adempierre. So Read Data, what does it? Um, the Read Data web service is to get information about one single entry in a table by its um, by its ID column. This brings um, one problem. If I have a table with um, a combined key where I have um, two foreign keys as my um, primary key, then I get a problem because then I can't identify the entries. So um, if you have a table where you have more than one identification column, I recommend the query data um, web service because there you can specify input fields this is not possible in the read data web service. The read data web service uses the record ID to identify the, um, the entry. You also need the table name and the action. Um, the other bows, filter and data row are not used here. So uh, I already created a web service here. I called mine read business partners. It's a read data web service and I used the table CB partner. And um, the table you select here um, provides you the columns in this drop down here. So based on which table I selected in my header data, I get other columns right here. As you can see, I have um, some output fields. It's the name, the value, the CB partner ID and the um, parent business partner. I also have some um, input um, uh, parameters, not input fields, parameters. Um, as mentioned, the table name, the record ID and the action. So here they are all free. Normally I recommend you to use um, constants for the action and the table name and the reason why I would do this, um, you will see it in a second and only record ID I would use for free because if you use a constant here, you will always get the same business partner as output and I don't want this, but um, I would recommend you highly recommend you to use a constant for the table name and the action because otherwise you um, maybe have a little security issue. So yeah, my output fields are specified, my parameters are specified, my inputs fields are empty as you can see because they are ignored and I have added the web service execution. Uh, so the web service role, uh, the web service user, which is part of the web service execution role can execute this. I already created my SOAP request and as you can see here, my service type is the name of my web service. I specified the table name as CB partner, a record ID, which is um, CNV construction, and I have the action read. So yeah, I can run this and you see um, it works. I can change the ID and here I should get Joe Block, I guess. Yes, it's Joe Block. And yeah. The reason why you always should make the table name and maybe the action also um, constants is that um, the first um, advantage is that you don't have to provide these fields in your request if they are constants. Um, the other thing is I could change the table name in my request. So when I use a user here, and I know that the user also has the CB partner ID, the value and the name field. I can um, use this web service to get information, for example, about the super user, which is, um, yeah, maybe a security issue. So yeah, um, let's change this request and this web service to make it um, a little bit better. Go to the parameters, go to your table name set it as a constant, CB partner, save this one. And the action can also be a constant, which is read in this case with an upper case R. And now we don't have a, a business partner with the, ID, with the ID 100. So I change it back to 117 and you see not only my um, request is a little bit shorter, it's also a lot more um, safer than um, before. And yeah, I hope this video helps. 
And if yes, then feel free to leave a comment or give a thumbs up. And I see you in the next video.